I want to ask you, sticking kind of with that, um, because obviously the season starts this week, South kind of playing Tennessee, and I mean, <clears throat> I'm someone at this point, I'm just grateful we're having a season, because for a while there, you had no clue if it was even going to happen. You know, really, honestly, Alex, I, I've stayed positive, optimistic. I'm just kind of that type of person, but I will say the one day or stretch of two, three days I had where I seriously, seriously had my doubts was about a month ago or a little bit over a month ago, the Big Ten and Pac-12, when they made that announcement that they were postponing or really just canceling football. I mean, that's the way you look at it. When they made that announcement, I thought that was it. I I thought there's no way the SEC is going to play. There's no way anybody's going to play. I'll just ask you, though, with all that happening, then we finally – the SEC stood its ground. I thought Greg Sankey and those guys have done a fantastic job. Now we're seeing the Big Ten flip course. Pac-12 is trying to do the same. Can you just imagine being a player in this scenario where, I mean, for a while you have no clue if your season's even going to happen. Then you have no clue when fall camp's going to happen. Then, you know, you're going through. And, you know, I, I heard Mac Brown talk about it before UNC's first game when they played, I believe it was Syracuse. They were asking him about everything going on. And he told them straight up that, you know, I took, we took a poll of our guys. You know, we asked them, hey, raise your hand or let, tell us, when did, you, when did you for real think football was actually going to happen? They were like, coach, the week of the game. Like, I mean, we, we didn't really feel like 100% we were going to get a game until the week of the game. And it's like, okay, this is a real thing. But I, I'll just ask you, can you just imagine even being a player in this circumstance right now? You're going to play in stadiums that are a fifth of capacity as well, like, I just think it's it's crazy to think how these guys are navigating through this. And, I mean, they're going to end up going out there and having a season. Yeah, no, I no, I can't even fathom trying to go through something like that just because of the uncertainty of it all. Or, like, are, you, are we going to have a practice? Are we going to have workouts? Are we going to be in classes? Are we going to be living on campus? Are we going to be in some kind of NBA-type bubble if they can create anything like that? So, no, I mean, I'm sure that's just been a – up and down roller coaster for everybody. I think really like looking at the first couple of games I got played, there was there was some rust sitting mm-hmm. out there from a tackling perspective, just because of all procedurally kind of what everybody all the hoops you had to jump through to even try to get this thing going. So there's there's gonna be some rust on the tires coming out there for I think a lot of these teams potentially. Um but it's, I mean, at the end of the day, I, you, I, I imagine going through that, all you want to do is get to this week. Mm-hmm to have that sitting in front of you to know that everything you just went through is worth it. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, I know, like, I'm sure all of our guys are stoked about that. I'm sure all the kids in the Big Ten and the Pac-12 are equally stoked about it because now they're, you know, fall and just get thrown into a blender and spit out somewhere else. Yeah, and it, the really interesting thing about this year, Alex, is it's really – you're going to find out the maturity of football teams, I think, because – I mean, that's going to, you know, it's it's going to continue to be a storyline. And no matter how you feel about him, if you test positive, you're going to have to sit out. We just saw Mike Norvell with Florida State. He's going to be out. He's missing the Miami game because he tested positive. But I think, and you can attest this, I mean, leadership's so important on a football team. It's so important in a locker room. Having seniors that can keep the young guys in line or just no matter the age, having guys that can keep others in line and keep everybody on the straight and narrow doing the right thing. So keeping guys, like I said, doing the right thing, not going out, not being places they shouldn't be, and staying healthy, and especially because of depth concerns, I think that's going to be a really pivotal thing for this season, unlike any other that we've ever seen. Undoubtedly. Undoubtedly. Yeah, yeah. so that, I mean, that leadership component to make sure that, for lack of a better term, all the foot soldiers are in line and not, you know, hanging out at Village Idiot like we used to four nights a week and, you know, going to parties that are on campus where you got – 100 people there so yeah I mean those those elements are huge because if you get 10 guys that test positive on Wednesday yeah you're kind of hosed yeah yeah you're gonna be without them I mean it's, it's just a reality of the situation 